All right, boys, you've been asking for this pretty relentlessly, so here we are. On a real note though, I better not get copyright clean for using like five seconds of that song. I'm looking at you, Lil Nas, don't do it. Anyways though, let's get back on track. So you guys have been asking me to use a certain fusion rifle for a minute now. Well, I guess I'm actually lying by saying you guys, it's more one person in the comments named Eon. This dude is asking me to use the Telesto on pretty much any video, so here we are. Now, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I really don't even know where to start when it comes to Telesto. This thing is just... I don't even know what it is at this point, man. The gun has broken the game like 35 times. I'm pretty sure the last time Telesto broke the game was only a couple months ago. There was a weird glitch where you could like stick the Telesto to your teammates and they would basically become invincible in the Crucible. It was really weird, so Bungie had to disable it. And then guess what Telesto did? It re-enabled itself in certain PvP modes. I, I don't know how a gun re-enables itself, but that's Telesto for you. Now, outside of actually breaking the game, the Telesto is a pretty good fusion rifle in its own right. It has a 780 charge time, which is pretty good, pretty balanced. It's not in that high impact archetype that absolutely sucks right now. It has really good stats outside of its range, but keep in mind, the range really doesn't matter on Telesto because its intrinsic trait is unplanned reprieve. Fusion projectiles attach and detonate with a delayed void blast. That actually means Telesto has no damage fall off, so the poor range really doesn't matter. Telesto also has the perk Deathbringer's Pulse. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Which reads, multi kills with this weapon immediately reload your equipped kinetic and energy weapons from reserves. Now, I don't really ever find this perk to be that useful, but if you have a certain build, you know, I guess it is a bonus. And I also do have the Telesto Catalyst, which shouldn't do anything in this video. If I have that much ammo, that just shows you Crucible is broken. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say about the Telesto. I did just find out like two seconds ago that I had an ornament for it, and it looks like it might be a little bit pay to win because it does actually give the Telesto a scope. I'm going to be pairing the Telesto with a rapid hit snapshot Aya's Luna, Top Tree Dawnblade, Aphidian Aspects, and all of these armor mods right here. Anyways, I will see you guys in the Crucible. So we're starting this one off with some rumble on Widow's Court. Sorry for the intro being a little bit longer than usual. I find it really hard not to talk about Telesto like a ton because the weapon, like, it's just stoop. No. What? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I am just so genuinely lost after that. Like, I stuck him with every Telesto projectile and he survived it. Like, what even is that? I will say though, I am definitely liking this uh, scope on Telesto. We just obliterated that guy, another hunter player. He should die. Thank you. One thing I've never really liked about Telesto is it's kind of incon- Dude, we, did hit we hit him for so much damage across the map, but Telesto is just kind of inconsistent sometimes because you have to wait for like the delay and it's like, is it going to kill him? Is it not? And it's just kind of weird sometimes. There's a player up here. He should be dead. The delay also gives your opponents time to like react to the Telesto and like kill you before it explodes, which is really annoying, but I get why that's there because if it wasn't, Telesto would be like the most broken gun in the game. It's already really good as is, that guy's dead. Like dude, this thing having infinite range is so disgusting. Another player right here, he has a shotgun, the Telesto him, he's pissed. I can just tell this guy's pissed. We just snagged the sword ammo, so I'm gonna skate towards this guy and then Telesto him, we're gonna juke him out. He's pissed again, that's literally the same guy just killed. We're gonna sword skate towards this guy as well, because I saw him, and I'm gonna have to Icarus back, otherwise I'm gonna overdo this. Should die by the Telesto, another guy behind me, we're gonna wait for him. And they're actually fighting each other. We unfortunately don't have any Telesto ammo at the moment, so I guess now we do. There's a player aping me, so I have to be careful. I don't want to use the sword, he's right around the wall. We're gonna throw the Celestial Fire, and then just whip out the sword, because... Uh, what? Excuse me? He's alive? Okay, now he's dead by Telesto. That's probably better for the video anyway. I'm starting to see why Eon wanted me to use this thing so bad. Like, it, it's so disgusting, and we're already getting more sword ammo, which is nice. I'm gonna sword skate towards this guy. This might be a bad idea. Icarus away from him. That guy is so confused. He has literally no idea where I just went. I'm gonna try to Telesto him. This is not looking good for us. He's dead. Perfect. We might be able to get this kill as well. It's a bow player. Got him. Nice. I really don't know about you guys, but I hate bows so much. If that kid- Hey yo, what the fuck? I, I don't- I have no words. I have no words for this gun. Should be a player aping towards the heavy. He's actually coming up from behind me. He's not slick though. It's a hunter player. Bro. Okay, this game is actually getting a little bit too close for my liking. We're gonna have to Telesto that guy. We got the trade. Not bad. This is really way too close though. 
I do have my super. I don't want to pop it, but we kind of have to just because of how much of a lead this guy has. This guy's snagging heavy. He's dead. I'm actually going to snag the heavy myself because, you know, sword skating is fun. And if I don't get somebody else with a super, we're going to have to use it. And GG, bro. That is not, not a bad game at all. We're going to Telesto this guy. I can't even see him. If he dies by that, he's actually one tap. And uh, we got the kill. GG. So this time around, we're in another Rumble match on Javelin 4. Dude, I wanted to play Control for you guys, but good God, man. Every game is like a $10,000 Mr. Beast tournament, and it's just not enjoyable. But best believe, if Bungie does fix Control, I will be playing more of it. There's a shotgun player right here. He's pissed that he just choked that. Two players fighting right here. We should be able to get this guy with Telesto. I honestly just should have used the primary, but I guess, you know, it is a Telesto video, so that's not really an option. There should be another player outside. Wait for this guy to peek through this door. Does this guy want a challenge or not? Good God, man. I feel like I'm running in circles. Okay, we're gonna Telesto him. He's dead. Nice. We're gonna slide this right. Ooh, dude, that blink, dude. I have been seeing so many people running blink recently. I don't know if somebody made like a, a video like Walla or anything, but dude, I'm like... I, I kind of respect it. Like, Blink is super underrated, and it's nice to see people using it. That is really... Um... Okay, I'm really surprised that Telesto shot didn't kill him. We're gonna wait for this guy to push heavy right Help. here. He probably isn't... Um, I guess he just doesn't care that I'm there. We're gonna Telesto both of these guys, and then grab the sword ammo so we can skate. This match is actually going really, really good. Now, granted, this is a very good map. There should be a player pushing through mid. Um, okay, there he is. Nice. We're gonna kill him. Pop a rift. This is not good. We have to pull out the sword. Oh my god, dude. Saving, or snagging sword ammo just absolutely saved my life right there. We're gonna wait for this guy with Telesto. He's probably at the bottom of the staircase. He's actually all the way in the back. That should kill him. Maybe not. So we're gonna slide again with Telesto. So there's a player all the way outside. We can try sword skating towards this guy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, no, no, dude, it didn't kill him. Oh, dude, that would have been like the most disgusting outplay I've ever seen in my life. What? Okay, I thought he didn't die by that either, but dude, I'm kind of mad that uh, that Telesto shot didn't kill him, bro. That would have been so nice. We're gonna sword skate to the spawn over here and see if we can challenge anybody with Telesto. This guy's dead. That guy actually looks like ZK Mushroom. It's definitely not though, because you know, kind of tell by the skill level. I'm gonna push towards, ooh, actually I'm gonna push towards B because somebody just spawned here, he's on top. We're actually not, uh, not gonna fight that guy because I don't want anybody to get heavy. This guy's a bow, he's dead, perfect. Somebody's coming up from behind me and he thinks he's slick. We're gonna Telesto this guy from Uganda. He's dead. Another guy up here. Pre-fire Telesto. It's not gonna work. Did this guy actually die? Am I tweaking? <laughs> nah, bro. This dude just teabagged me and got absolutely bopped. That is hilarious. Slide this. ZK Mushroom wannabe. And we're actually gonna pop our super because we gotta teach this guy a lesson about teabagging. You don't do that around here. You do not do that around here, cat ear dance, and GG. So that is pretty much going to be all the gameplay that I have for today's video. After using Telesto, I'm honestly kind of shocked. I don't even remember the gun being this good, but it kind of slaps. Don't get me wrong, it's not nearly as strong as something like a Timelines Vertex or Main Ingredients, primarily because, you know, you do have to wait for the bolts to actually explode, which gives your opponents time to trade. But, you know, overall, Telesto is a really, really fun weapon. But as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like and a comment letting me know what you thought. And if you're new around here, it never hurts to hit that subscribe button. Anyways, it's been Gravely. Peace.